name is Mark Chalmers, and I'm president and CEO of Energy Fuels. And Energy Fuels is uh, trades on the New York Stock Exchange under UUUU, so four U's, and also on the Toronto Exchange under EFR. I am very excited to tell you about our company because our company is different than any other company that you have. We are focused on critical elements, uh, production for decarbonizing and um, improving electrification in the United States of America. We have the White Mesa Mill, which is the only operable uranium mill in the United States that can treat both uranium and rare earths, and that is a big deal. We also have, ha have revenue, we have zero debt, and we also made a sale last quarter, which uh, gave us net earnings of, of a, over 100 million US dollars. So we're in an absolutely enviable position as a company. We have the ability to recover the vanadium, and we have a long history of doing that, medical isotopes, and, and so it is a very exciting story. Rare earths and uranium, why do they go together perfectly? They go together perfectly because the best feeds of rare earths contain uranium, and because we have the White Mesa Mill, uh, people are clamoring to get access to the mill for both the processing uranium and rare earths, so they fit together perfectly, and that is a unique differ differentiator in our story. Our company is focused on full integration of the, the rare earth cycle, and that is what's required because the only one who has full integration of the rare earth cycle is the Chinese currently. In the period of the last three years, we've been able to advance our integration with mining beneficiation, crack and leach, recovering the uranium and thorium, and we will be separating commercially by the end of this year or early into next year. But we're not stopping there. We're still focused on advancing a strategy to move to metals, and potentially magnets in due course, which all go into electric vehicle motors. Now, again, on the highlights of our financials, again, last quarter we sold a non-core asset and we had over $114 million of net earnings. And we also sold uranium and vanadium with very material margins of 58% on the uranium and nearly 40% on the vanadium. And so our balance sheet at the end of Q1 was $143 million, and that is, again, a very enviable position, particularly including on the fact it doesn't include our investments or the current value of our inventories, which really pushes it north of $200 million. So in summary, if you believe in the energy transition, and I think anyone who doesn't needs to take a, have a bit of a wake-up call, Energy Fuels is leveraged at doing more than any company you'll probably hear a, a pitch on uh, and as an investment because of the elements that we recovered. There are over seven critical elements required for decarbonization electrification that we either currently are producing or will be producing in the next year or so. Nuclear energy business and, and sector has never looked more promising with a focus on decarbonization and baseload energy. When you look at the rare earth elements required for improvements in, in electrification, Few companies will succeed. Energy Fuels has made enormous steps in the last three years and will continue to do so. Uh, I already mentioned the importance of vanadium uh, for both steel hardening and uh, grid storage and isotopes also for cancer treatment and balance sheet. Balance sheet is critical and we have the balance sheet and the capability and are fully funded for the next few years because of the, the way we have uh, been able to, to monetize in the case of that uh, non-core asset in Texas, and we have the people. Having the people with the knowledge to execute the strategy is absolutely critical, and it is a big deal to have the people in this market we are in today. Thank you.